Hello guys and welcome. In this video I'm gonna work a little bit with Cloud Save and also provide an option for our user to change player name. So to start let's go to the Unity dashboard and select our project and launch Cloud Save. Here it is. We click next, next and let's click finish. So that's it for our Unity dashboard. Let's go back to the editor. So I'm gonna use Cloud Save to create a simple character customization. So to start, let's create the necessary scripts. First of all, I'm gonna create a script called customization menu. I also want to add the ability to change the player name. So to do that, I am going to create another script, name it get input menu. So basically we use this menu to allow player type in the name they want. And also I want to create another menu so whenever I want to ask player a question for example when he wants to sign out I want to ask him are you sure you want to sign out with a yes and no buttons so to do something like that I will create another menu call it action confirm menu so as usual let's create the UI elements first for the action confirm it's just a simple panel it has a text and uh, two buttons and for the get input menu I have a text and input and two buttons also for the customization I have a panel and inside this that's just the title text and uh, here I have a button to close the panel a button to save the changes a text to show our customization data this button is to change character and this button is to change color so basically I have a cube or a sphere or a capsule I can click on this change character and switch between those and also I could change the color of this game object and later on when we connect to netcode each player can customize their character and instantiate using their character obviously this is just a simple implementation later on we could make a more advanced character customization so for now let's just close this and uh, let's go to the main menu as well so we need buttons one for character customization so i'm gonna create that button let's change the text and uh, bring it somewhere around here also i'm going to create another button change name and let's also change the text change player name and let me bring it somewhere here so that's it for our UI let's start writing the code so let's start by going to customization menu and before we go ahead we need to go to the package manager find the cloud save and install it now we can go ahead and use cloud save in our scripts first of all let's get a reference to the UI elements and also let's create a bunch of variables so obviously we need to inherit from panel and create a function to load player data and uh, save the changes that we made another one to close the panel and we override the open function the first thing we do is gonna load the player data so we have two buttons to change character and uh, change the color so I also need to create a function to apply the data to the character text that we have so basically it's gonna change the text to characters array and it takes a index of that character the same thing for the color of the text and when we load the data we save the character and color to make sure the save button only available when we actually made changes to the character so when we change the color we're just gonna add one to it and apply the data the same thing with change color we're gonna add one to the color index and apply the data let's go ahead and add the listeners inside the initialize function for all the buttons and now let's take care of the loading the data and the 
saving the data. So for loading the data, when we call this, the first thing we're gonna set the text to that and disable all the buttons. So also we reset all the indexes. And here we go, this is how you could use cloud save service to load data. Basically, we're going to say await cloud save service instance data player load async. So we need to pass a hash set of string. And this is basically the key of records that we need to load. And in this case, I want to load the character data. So after that, in the return value, I'm going to try to get the value of the character. If there is a value, then I'm going to get the value as dictionary of string object. And inside that I have a type, which is an integer zero for cube, I think. Yes, one for capsule and two for sphere. So basically I'm going to store that index inside the type and the same thing for the color color index i'm gonna save the index of the color here and then at the end i'm gonna enable those and apply the data to our character so to save data the same thing i'm gonna disable the buttons and to save the data we're gonna create a dictionary of a string object so the string is going to be the key of the value and this is how we use the key and the value to store the data inside that dictionary and at the end I am going to create a new dictionary of type string object and I'm gonna use character as the key and the data that I created here as the value so basically this is the key that we use to get the values and uh, we're gonna use cloud save service instance data player save async we're gonna pass the data that's basically our customization menu now let's go to our action confirm menu. This is the panel that asks yes or no question. We're gonna create a bunch of variables, a text for the message, a button to say yes and a button to say no and the text for those buttons. Also, we're gonna create a callback to invoke a certain functions and passing the result. So we're gonna inherit from panel and result is either positive or negative, which means yes or no. And let's create an open function. It takes a callback, a message, a text for the positive button and a text for the negative button. We simply go into open the panel, assign the callback and set the text for the message and buttons. If it is positive, then we're gonna invoke the callback with the result of positive. And if it is negative, we're gonna pass negative to our callback. And let's assign the button listeners here in the initialize and let's take care of the last panel which is get input menu and it's simply going to take a text or number from the player let's create the variables that's the message that's a positive button which means submitting the value inside the input and this is just negative button to close the panel without submitting anything that's also the text for the buttons and we also have a callback, which takes a string. Also, we're going to create an enum, name it type. So we're going to change the settings of the input based on this type. And now to open the panel, we are going to create a function, name it open. It takes a callback, a type, max length, message, and obviously the text for the buttons. And let's inherit from panel and create two functions for our negative and positive buttons. So for the negative, we're just going to close it. For the positive, we're going to get the value inside the input. And then we're just going to invoke the callback using the value. Let's add the listeners here in the initialize. And for the open function, first we're going to open the panel. We're going to set the type and callback and set the text for the message and the buttons. Then we're going to set the text of the input to nothing. We're going to set the character limit to the max length that we pass here to the function. And we're going to switch between types. If it is an integer, we're going to set the input content type to integer number. If it is float to decimal number, if it is anything else, we're just going to use a standard. 
So finally, let's go to our main menu script. And here I'm going to create a button to rename the character and another button to open the customization menu. This is the customization menu. It's just going to open that panel. So let's create another function here. Call it rename player confirm. So it takes an string as an input. This input comes from get input menu. So first we're going to deactivate the rename button. We're going to use authentication service instance update player name to this string that we passed. So we're going to use this function rename player to first get a singleton of the get input menu and then we're going to open it. We're going to pass rename player confirm as the callback type string and obviously enter a name for your account, send and cancel. So let's add the listeners inside uh, initialize. Here it is for the rename button and customization button. Also, let's go ahead and find the sign out. Instead of calling these values here, I'm going to do it inside another function called it sign out result. It takes an action confirm menu result. And only if the result is positive, we're going to sign out. And inside the sign out function, we're going to get a reference to the action confirm menu singleton. And then ask a question, are you sure that you want to sign out? And that should take care of our signing out. Now, finally, let's go to the UI and assign the scripts to our menus. So that's the customization menu, changing the ID to customization, assigning the variables here. That's our character text, character button, color button, closing the panel and saving the data. So let's go to the get input and assign it. So for the ID, if you remember, by the way, here's the customization. We chose that ID for that panel and for the get input menu, we chose input. So we're going to use that ID here and assign the container that message text, positive button and the negative button. That is the input. And let's assign the positive button text and negative button text as well. For the action confirm, we are going to assign this. So for the ID, we chose here in the sign out action confirm. So that's the ID. That's the container, the text message, positive button, negative button, the text for our button and the other one. So we also have something in our main menu. That's the button customization and button change name. So that's it. Let me save this and play the project. So here we get authenticated. First, let's try to sign out. As you can see, it's going to ask us, are you sure you want to sign out? So that works. For our player name, we can click on that. It's going to take an input from us. Let me type in John. As you can see right now, our name is player. So if I send this, it is going to change our player name. Now let's go and try the customization. As you can see, it's loading the data. Now the data is loaded. So the save button is deactivated. Let's actually change the character to something else. Maybe change the color. And now we can save this. So if I close this and come back to the customization menu, it is going to load the same data. Even if I close the entire project and play it one more time, you see that the name is still there. And if we go to the customization, here we go. Our character has been saved on the cloud. So I'm going to finish this video here. And in the next video, I'm going to start working with the lobby. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Please make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.